Imagine a world where we can't power our cities, we can't find clean water, we lack the minerals essential for new technologies and renewable energy. This is a future that we're currently headed toward because of a major decline in interest, enrollment, and funding in geoscience. Today, I'm gonna to talk about this global geoscience crisis and why it matters to every single one of us. Geoscience or earth science departments have been experiencing declining enrollment since around 2015, some even earlier. The graphs I'm showing on the screen right now are just showing data for the US, but this is a global issue that has led to budget cuts and even closures of geoscience departments worldwide. These cuts compromise our ability to respond to natural disasters and environmental challenges. As one Nature article put it, Earth sciences are fundamental to tackling climate change, natural disasters, and the energy transition. Yet universities worldwide are putting geoscience departments on the chopping block, right when they're needed the most. They go on to say, without geoscientists, there will be no sustainable future. As some of you may have seen, I made a post on my community tab here on YouTube the other day about an earth science student from Amsterdam that reached out to me about her university's plan to dissolve their earth science department, which will leave 42 faculty and staff without a job and 150 students with no way to finish their degree. This broke my heart knowing that 150 students who are some of the few that recognize the importance of geoscience for our future are now getting screwed over because universities make decisions based on money, not the future of humanity. There is a petition to help save this earth science department that I've linked in the description box below if you wanna sign it and help save their department. However, as devastating as this one instance is, this is by no means the only university cutting their geoscience program. There are countless others facing the same reality across the globe. Why? Well, whenever budgets are cut, which is currently a big thing here in the US, the first science department to go is typically geology, especially considering our poor enrollment statistics over the last decade. So if geoscience is so important for our future, why is enrollment declining to begin with? This is actually the question at the center of my current postdoctoral research. And what I and many of my colleagues have found is that there are glaring misperceptions of geoscience among the general public and thus students choosing a major. In fact, I'm willing to bet that if you are a geologist watching this right now and you've ever been in a conversation with somebody where they ask you what you do for a living and you say geologist, I guarantee you've probably heard the response, so rocks? Or maybe they've watched the Big Bang Theory and they think geology is not a real science. Or maybe they just immediately assume that you work in oil and gas. These misperceptions are due to many factors, the misrepresentation of geoscience in media, the lack of geoscience in high school, and quite frankly, the lack of proper communication and outreach on our part as geoscientists. In reality, geoscience is the study of Earth, and geoscientists are absolutely necessary for the future of humanity, and here's why. Geoscientists study natural hazards like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and landslides, saving so many lives. Geoscientists study the effects of climate change, like more intense and frequent droughts, fires, floods, and intensifying storm events, again, helping to prevent deaths and save lives. Geoscientists locate and manage essential resources like water and minerals. Let me just repeat that for a second. Geoscientists locate and manage essential resources like water and minerals. In other words, a future without geoscientists is a future without clean water and new technologies. I think a lot of people forget where our cell phones and our laptops and TVs and cars come from, but it's all from Earth, including the critical minerals necessary for the energy transition. Geoscientists also study Earth's history, which can be used to make models to predict future trends in geologic and climatic changes, which can help us develop strategies to combat modern climate and environmental changes. 
Geoscientists inform policy that protect ecosystems and maintain biodiversity, contributing to global sustainability. Geoscientists inform infrastructure design based on regional natural hazards, faults, landslide risk, and other structural geological information. Geoscientists study the critical zone, aka in simple terms, soils, which helps inform agricultural practices. So in other words, we need geoscientists for the future of our safety, our technology, our water, our food, our infrastructure. It's actually hard to think of something we don't need geoscientists for, which I guess makes sense, right? Because we're living on Earth, so we kind of have to understand the thing we're living on to live on it sustainably. So what can we do to reverse this enrollment decline and save geoscience departments? Well, one, we can invest in education, encouraging enrollment in geoscience through scholarships and outreach. Two, we can support research, more funding to geoscience departments and projects. And three, and the most actionable on an individual level, we can promote public awareness. Just spread the word about what geoscience is, the full scope that it encompasses, not just rocks, not just oil and gas, so much more, how relevant it is for everyday life, our usage of energy, our usage of our cell phones, our cameras, our computers, our cars, our future with renewable energy, natural hazards and disasters and responses to these things. Hi, Suki. She's, she feels strongly about this as well. Geoscience is not just about rocks, it is about the future of our planet. So if we can recognize the value of this field and spread the word, we can work together to build back up geoscience departments to not just what they used to be, but what they should be when we need geoscientists more than ever right now.